Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome in if this is your first time joining the channel. My name is Chrissy, I'm a variety streamer, a Twitch, and a content creator here on YouTube. And today's video is going to be strange. So, why is today's video going to be different, you may ask? Well, for one simple reason only. Within the last two recordings that I had done of Ghost of Tsushima, one of them was about an hour long, the other one was one and a half hour long, I accidentally did record the videos with bad audio quality. This happened because I made myself a new account on my computer. Long story short, my computer and my OBS decided to use by default my camera's microphone, which was of course too far away to capture any decent audio. So when I sat down to edit both videos, I thought it, it was completely ruined and uh what did i did so uh since ghost of tsushima is a game where you cannot pick which specific chapter to play unless you've already finished the game i couldn't go back and replay it for you which happened already once during a previous gameplay the only thing that i was able to think of is to actually cut some parts that were decent and the audio was semi good or parts where i wasn't actually talking or i was talking a little bit less and then just put a voiceover of me explaining what is happening and why is it happening so this is what we're going to see today the video will be very short instead of just having two separate gameplays i do apologize for that we're only going to have around 20 minutes of gameplay in total which i cut from both of uh both of these videos and what are we going to start off? Let me try to explain before we get on to the video. So the video kicks off with a story being told. I decided that I will continue within the main story, which was to find and recruit the Straw Hat Ronin. But on my way there, I've met this storyteller, which started to tell us a story about something very specific. You will see when the video rolls out. And this is where I decided to kick off the gameplay with. Within half of the video, you will see we already meet and find the straw hat ronin and we take on within the main chapter so within the next 20 minutes you will see one side mission it was technically a very long side mission and one main mission being played out thank you so much for the patience i once again would like to also apologize for the lack of videos within the last couple of weeks as i was sick and unable to record or stream but now everything is great and we're going to have much more content incoming so see you at the end of this video a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the yeah. fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Okay. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The storyteller tells us that a ronin named Yasuhira Koga was the one behind the killing of all of uh, the villagers and all of the people around and uh, he's uh, associated with the mongols included so what did i did i made my way a uh, very long way of which you will see partially what happened i made my way looking for him throughout a couple of mongol camps 
one of which was here assassinating silently a lot of them in this really beautiful area around a white uh, tree unlike the sakuras which are pink we, uh, we had to find his uh, white leaves in order to locate where he is the heavenly strike seems to be a technique that uh, has been forgotten and hasn't been used in ages so uh, let's see how this final battle unfolds time hasn't changed you you were a child when yorikawa burned boy for 15 years i dreamed of cutting lord shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Oh, that's so good. Let me show you. Wait, we're doing one by one, really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. I got him good. I got him good, even though he has this heavenly strike. Whew, too dramatic. Okay. It's like the Wild West of the Katanas. One shot away and one shot away too. I've got it. Wait. One HP. <laughs> oh, I did it. Heavenly one HP. Save you. Wait, did I learn it? I think I learned it. So it, I was made by the game to use it when he was on his last shot. I was on one HP. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. We did it. Well, uh, I think my heavenly strike will literally fry him. Before the fight with Yasuhira, we find a grandfather of one of the people who actually who was actually the one able to teach the technique to, uh, to Koga, to the Ronin, and uh, we we pay tribute to him because um, we found him unfortunately not alive. And also, an awesome thing happened. Our legend grows, we continue to be awesome, and we're currently named the People's Hope. Let's go. On my way, when I decided to finally start the main mission, finally, <laughs> on my way to finding the Ronin, we find this um, straw hat, and then this woman right here in the village. Every last scrap. Do you see where they went? Northeast, into the woods. If I find them, 
They'll regret stealing from you. Please don't harm them. They're just as desperate as I am. And of course, as I am the people's hope, I made my way into the bandit's camp to find the rest of this woman. And of course, I did not pay any mercy to all of those bandits stealing her rice. And uh, I raided her camp. But does everything seems the way that it is? I don't know. I guess we found out in a little bit. My lord, you're back. I am, and I brought you rice. I have your food. Rice. I don't remember the last time I had rice. You said they stole it from you. Please, for forgive me. You lied to me. Bandits don't deserve food at a time like this, my lord. Besides, I ask you not to hurt them. They gave me no choice. Oh, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have lied. I still would have helped you. I won't do it again. I promise. Shortly before I, we find our way into the main mission, I find myself into this uh, survivor's camp where I get the best katana ever. I spent all of my flowers for this total of 15. It was absolutely worth it. Jin? Jin Sakai. Yuzo. Yuzo. You look like a scarecrow. You've looked better too. <laughs> well, we know each other. Can I have oh. my hat? You're a mercenary now. Professional warrior. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for your leader. He died on Komodo Beach. You were there too. I lost a lot of friends. We all did. And we can avenge them if we work together. Help me save Lord Shimura. He's alive. The straw hats are hurt. Starving. I can't ask them to risk their lives for one man. Well, that, that, that woman is pretty price, important. Once we free our home, Lord Shimura will pay you anything you want. My men might be interested. Your men? I look out for them. Someone has to. <clears throat> wow. Do we have a deal? I'll Here think about it. Now this chapter with our friend Ruzo was uh, quite long guys, but I had to make a lot of cuttings from it, so you will see briefly less than 10 minutes from the whole uh, gameplay, which was above an hour. Here we are at the very first uh, meetup, where I'm helping Ruzo deal with the Mongols on site that try to attack us. Uh, later on we're going to continue walking to his camp, because... Um, he wants to show me where uh, him and his men are located and uh, they really look in a very poor condition. Most of them are either injured or starving. Turns out that it's been a while since they were able to um, find some food. And uh, right after that we make plans of course to raid a uh, specific big fortress around the corner uh, which will hopefully provide us with food for the Straw Hat Ronins. As you can see, uh, I get to kill way more leaders now, but there's still a lot to go to unlock uh, level two of the of the water stance. You're not as handsome as me, but it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> we should check the fort's defenses, look for weak spots. My men will handle that part. Then we have a deal. Get us that food at the fort, Ohira, and we'll get your uncle away from the Mongols. Okay, deal. Thank you, Yuzo. Just remember who's in charge of the straw hats. I would never dream of replacing you, my friend. Give us a head start. We'll meet you at the mm. old cemetery. See you there. Hello. Good. You're here. You ready to steal some food for us? Yes, I am. Making my way into Fort O'Hira. A lot of events happen. Here we were supposed to light uh the um, fire within the lighthouse to signal Ruzio and the others that uh 
it's okay for them to come and attack together with us. So I had to silently assassinate a few Mongols. Because if I was to be seen, the mission would have failed. Yes, actually, within the first try I did this, I was spotted. So the mission rebooted. And here you see a clean gameplay of which I was able to ghostly do this without getting spotted. Uh, to be honest, this was a very big fort. And there are a couple of ways in which you can play this. You can also go and try to... Uh, clean most of the enemies or uh, as I did I just quickly went through and I tried to make my way up to the to the light okay. without uh, getting spotted and Oof. avoiding multiple enemies the on the uh, ignite the lighthouse no problem you I go I'm a brave star had Ronin did what I had to do it's time Second battle. Second battle within the fort. This is after we send the signal. There was a lot to go through, to be honest. But uh, since we had the help from the Straw Hat Ronins, this battle was, I would say, was fairly easy. Uh, without any problems at all. It's gotta be food. Let's get your men something to eat. Where's all the food? I didn't see any in the tower. Did you find anything? Just a stack of Mongol papers on a dead officer. Let me see. You read Mongolian? If it's in Chinese, I can make out some of it. Since when? Since I had to read Sun Tzu. This was only a temporary depot. Oh my god, there's no food. They're taking everything. Offshore. The boats are in the bay. We'll never get out to them. You got in here. Hmm. Hmm. Look crazy. I definitely am. What did you have in mind? Let's see what we're up against. Just on that cliff. Okay. The Mongols will focus on them while we steal the boat. Good, yeah, that's actually a good plan. All right, men. They don't know we took the fort, so they'll be waiting for reinforcements that aren't coming. Keep them busy long enough for us to steal a boat. Then retreat into the forest. Look for my torch. That's your signal to attack. What basically happened, and I had to unfortunately skip again, was that I was supposed to steal a tiny little boat, which led us, uh, me, Jin, and Ruzo, into a couple of Mongol ships, trying again to continue and wait for some food. Let's see if we can find something here. This is uh, ship number one, which there was uh, absolutely nobody inside. Up until a certain point. Woo! One shot of end. Do the other shot. More Mongols. Okay. okay. Whoa, there's so many. Ay, ay, ay. There's so many of them. I gotta get the archers first. Okay, one archer. They're protecting the archers. What is this one? I'm smart enough. I will roll my way until I get all of them. What is Rizzo go? I'm all alone now. Rizzo? Oh my god. My friend left me! Not good, not cool. Ready, to the... Where's my kunai? Ready, to the... Ooh, heavenly strike, lead you down. Well, let's go, let's go. Ship. You search here, I'll take the other. Be careful. We raided two ships. Oh, got him. And I made my way onto the third and last ship, in which I silently, ghostly, try to take out the enemies. Now the last ship was supposed to be our escape goat to find something valuable. But um, let's see how that is going to unfold. Prepare yourself to see something funny. I promise I try to edit this out pretty good. And um, yeah, let's see how this unfolds. Oh, 
no, it's a bear. <gasps> it's a bear inside. I gotta release the bear. Where would the bear go even if I open the door though? Shit. Got him. Okay, all of them down. Apart from maybe what's inside. I gotta set the bear free. Whoops. This guy saw me. Oops. An accident. I apologize for the inconvenience. So let's do this again. Okay, got this line. Mongo, if you hadn't shown up. Yeah, for sure. I know. Did you see how big he was? Yeah. That's where all our food went. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, that was unfortunate. Bastards. They're burning our food. Yuzo, jump! I promised my men I'd feed them, and I'm going back empty-handed. We'll find another way. Fuck. But how many will I lose before then? Nobody died. I found something that might help. Mongol battle plans. Do they show supply lines? One page has a map. It's a start. Hand it over. We do this together. You've got your own problems. And I am the leader. I need this, Jin. And I'll need you at Castle Canada. Yeah, 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 yeah. I recruited him. Don't let them Ooh. see you coming. Just like you. Hm. Mission successful. Okay, well that was all. What do we found out briefly? Uh, the story so far goes in that I have learned one amazing super technique called the Heavenly Strike, which seems to be like an ultimate that you can use. I hope there will be more than one that we can use throughout the game, but probably we have to discover it through a lot of gameplays and obviously some side missions being played. And uh, I really, really enjoyed my 1v1 uh, with this Ronin, with this very, very very evil Ronin, and the end of the end of which was pretty satisfying i might add so we also met up and recruited our friend ruzo which was a straw hat ronin again there's just so many ronins in this game in total isn't it yeah it definitely is too many of them and we're still at the very beginning and uh i wonder how the story will play out next i cannot tell you which pet we're going to pick for the next videos i guess we're just gonna decide on the go within the next gameplays since i'm posting this video um uh, today which is technically wednesday for me i will uh, be, i will make sure to post two more videos by the end of this week one of which is going to be a continuation of the witcher gameplay because we haven't played that in a while and the story there unfolds pretty nicely so i would really like to thank you guys for watching this video welcome and big this is almost at the end if you um enjoy the content even though it was so short and definitely different from before please consider giving uh, it a thumbs up also if you would like to comment on anything maybe you can give me suggestions because this was the very first time i did a voiceover um on top of something i already recorded and did i don't know if that was well i really tried to edit and make it as smooth as possible so i'm hoping it was actually like that and uh, if you'd like to keep yourself notified for any future content on the channel please click on the subscribe button below and i'll see you next time on our videos stay safe and stay awesome everyone bye